guys, Derek from He and Chi Fitness here. It is Saturday, so we are getting ready to go out and get a packet pickup for Rachel for her race. Before we go and do that, I wanted to show you the special pre-workout slash um, leisure slash normal drink that we have every single day that tastes exactly like iced tea or um, Arnie Palmer, Arnold Palmer iced tea, if you've ever had that. It's like an iced tea that's sweetened with lemon, but this has zero sugar and it probably tastes even better, I would say. So I'm gonna start by getting just a standard one gallon jug of water out of the fridge. This is distilled. You can get spring water, you can get purified water, you can use tap water, it doesn't matter. We just buy these probably once a week from the store and then we refill them when we get out of the drink. So I'm gonna just open this up. I'm gonna drain a little bit of the water because I need some room to mix some of this stuff. So probably about yay high. Just took a little bit out. Put that on the counter. I grab me something else here. And so basically we have seven ingredients. We have a Mio wannabe squeeze, um, Southern sweet tea. I'm gonna put this in here. Just a little bit of squeeze there and you've got your iced tea flavor. Then we have some Alcar, which is L-carnitine. Very good for metabolizing sugars without having them sort of fat. I'm going to give it one five grand scoop here. Put that in. Be done with that. Throw that over here. Counter. Then I have some citrulline malate. Now most of these are um, bulk powders that a lot of people take in supplement pill form. We get them in powder because it's a lot less expensive and a little bit of initiative gets you a lot more product. These are from Powder City. Powder City has stopped shipping product, which really stinks because I thought they were the best. Our other supplier here is bulk supplements, which they're very good too. So. Probably gonna be buying the rest of my powders from bulk supplements, but if you go on Amazon and do a search, a lot of these people um, sell the same type of stuff for the same type of price. Rhino's another one too, so. Citrulline Malate, I'm gonna take another five gram scoop and put that in. I'm gonna set that aside. And I'm gonna get out my Extend BCAs from Skyvation. Um, you can see in here, you've got vitamin B6, you have your major branch chain amino acids, and you have citrulline malate, and I believe, yes, you have L-glutamine in there, in there as well. So, uh, this is 90 servings, but a serving size here is a huge scoop. So, this is $45, maybe 50 on Amazon. This is a probably the best bang for your buck of BCAAs. Zero calories, and the taste is awesome. This is lemon lime. Using lemon lime here because it gives the iced tea a lemony flavor that gives it its Arnie Palmer flavor. So I use again just a smaller five gram scoop because the large scoop that this uh, BCA container comes with is too large for the lip of that um, one gallon water jug. So two scoops, I'm gonna do three, four, probably six of these because I like it a lot. and. Uh, it probably takes two or three of these to equal one scoop in this BCAA container. So I'm going to go ahead and put that back. That's all set. Put that back over there. And I think I put the five gram scoop in there, so I'll have to get it out next time. But I'm done with the citrulline malate as well. Put that away. Next stop is trimethylglycine, otherwise known as betaine. Uh, this is a good, uh, another supplement that helps you metabolize your fat. And it also takes homocysteine uh, out of your body as well. I don't really know the specifics, but this one is creatine monohydrate. I use that sometimes for pre and post workout. I'm not going to put it in this because uh, apparently creatine in a monohydrate form doesn't do too well sitting in water forever. So, and I'm kind of trying to get off that for a little bit just because I've been taking it for a while and I start to feel a little bloated. So I'm gonna go into the trimethylglycine, betaine, and I'm gonna do another, hmm, probably three or four grams of that. Don't need quite as much. 
And then I'm gonna go into magnesium citrate. If you're familiar with magnesium, most people have a severe deficiency and magnesium is the culprit for about 300 plus bodily functions that it kickstarts. So this is a mineral that you can't really do without. Now, the downside is if you eat, well, take too much of this, it's the same stuff they give you before a colonoscopy, so you can imagine what the other downside is, so don't take too much. But if you're an athlete, 500 milligrams to a gram a day is probably what you need to be getting, and most people, again, are not getting it from food, from a combination of the fact that they're not eating the right vegetables. And another uh, reason would be that the soil that uh, some of this stuff is farmed in nowadays is devoid of a lot of nutrients too. So I'm going to probably do about two thirds of a scoop of that. So that's a few grams, but again, keep in mind we have a gallon of water here. So between Rachel and I, this is going to last one or two days. Um, and that this, this is the cool thing. Let me put this away here and I can explain this to you. Now, the awesome thing about this gallon of water right here, is that we're gonna drink this for pre-workout, post-workout, around the town, at night for an enjoyment, or when we're on the couch watching a movie. This is kind of like our all-in drink. And between two people, you figure 128 ounces, you know, we can easily have 64 ounces each of this a day, and that's a good portion of our water requirement and keeps us away from other sweetened drinks, keeps us away from diet soda, tastes amazing, keeps us away from sugars and unnecessary calories. And again, it's just an awesome, versatile drink. You never really get sick of it. So there it is. That's the pre-workout Arnold Palmer imitation BCAA Southern Sweet Tea mix that we drink every single day, guys. I'm gonna throw it in the fridge and we'll be drinking this starting right now. All right, now it is time to do Rachel's. This isn't mine, this is Rachel's. This is her weekly fill up of pills, supplements. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> so there's a lot of stuff. So we have this big, like, giganto pill container right I'm here. The which... elderly, like, massive pill <laughs> container. Like, we are right around 30, but we have pill containers like we're 85 years old. <laughs> Mine's even... Proud of it. That's hers. This is mine. It's even worse. We'll be going through that at some point, but not today. So, step one. Yes, we do this once a week, every week, because can you imagine taking a pill or two from these bottles every single day? It would be a pain. Now, she's got a few already in here. What does she have in here? Well, she's got... Uh, the big one there is the once a day multivitamin, which doesn't cover enough. The little um, skinny one right here is allergy medication. It's a Zyrtec. And the little red one is a Zeralto blood thinner medication. Rachel had a very serious bout with blood clots um, about three and a half years back and then another reoccurrence. So she has to be on that for good. So. That's the sad pill right there. We do not know not know why she has them and how long she'll have to be on them. But for general health, we're gonna basically take all these bottles lined up here and one by one put them in every single day so you can understand what she's taking, why she's taking it, and how much to take per day. Okay, so first one here is a calcium, magnesium, zinc. Calcium is good for strong bones. Magnesium helps deposit the calcium into the bones. And zinc is a good hormone regulator. This is a great one to take anytime during the day, but before bed is a really good time for this. So go ahead and dump these. Now I take three of these a day because I have more weight on me. Rachel takes two per day and that gives her 200 milligrams of magnesium and then... I think roughly 30 milligrams of zinc and calcium as well. So two, 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 one. And that bottle is out, so if you'll pardon me a minute, I'll have to open this brand new one. This brand is Puritan's Pride. I get it off Amazon. It's really good. It's a really good quality brand, and it's 
very good value. And we have Prime, so of course, this thing's coming to our door in like two days, so we really don't have to wait either. There we go, there's the calcium, magnesium, zinc. Next, boron, another good regulator of hormones and helps minerals be deposited in the right areas of the body. I take 15 to 18 milligrams a day, she takes six milligrams. Three milligrams is the lower hand dose, but the upper safe amount for human consumption is 18 milligrams a day, so we're not too worried about her taking six. So these are three milligram pills. So you can see I'm doing two pills for each day. And those are all done. This is a great product. Do some research on it because not a lot of people know about boron. Next, vitamin D3. A lot of people know about this. This is a very widely accepted fact that women are deficient in vitamin D3. Now, if you're not getting enough sunlight, supplement with vitamin D3. If you are getting enough sunlight, supplement with a little bit of D3. If you're female, supplement with a lot of D3. If you're male, supplement with some D3 as well. This is a very good brand, Bronson. Um, there's 360 of these in the container and they're 5,000 IU each. So I give her one a day of these, okay? This is a very good brand. Now, again, vitamin D3, if you're not getting enough magnesium, if you're not getting enough boron, if you're not getting enough vitamin K2, potentially worthless. So do your research on all minerals, not just what makes people money. These make people money. Boron, vitamin K2, they don't. So not many people are going to tell you about those, but I am telling you. So take advantage of that. Do some research. So just one a day of these. And Friday and Saturday. There we go. Put the rest back in. That's good with those. Next, we have potassium. We also eat bananas, but potassium is a good regulator of um, uh, your blood pressure. You have sodium and potassium. They've got to be in the right balance with each other. So Rachel just takes one of these a day, 99 milligrams. Not a very large amount, but there's some in her multivitamin. And we have bananas as well. And we have other leafy greens that contain potassium so there's a small supplement she does those i do not um good one to have vitamin b12 metabolism support and energy we started getting on these more so after we were taking a few energy shots when it's just like you know what there's as much vitamin b12 in one of these little tablets which there's a hundred in here um as there is in an entire $2 energy shot. Plus it's water soluble, so you don't have to really worry about overdosing on that. So vitamin B12, I showed you that bottle, but I'm actually gonna go with this one because these are little cherry chewables and I'm gonna have some of these too because they sound really good right now. So, they are so good. So I give her, look at these little things. Look at, if you get a candy crate, you don't see me, but mmm. flavor Cherry. Yeah, they're so good. Mm-hmm, they're yummy. Like Flintstone vitamins. So, I'm gonna give her two per day of these. If she wants, you can eat more than that. It's not gonna hurt her. Um, like I said, if I want a little piece of candy, mmm, mmm, just eat these things. Now, I didn't tell you to go eat those things, so disregard or discard that piece of information because who knows? It could still be bad for you. How many of those could you have? Vitamin B12. You know, in my opinion, probably as many as you wanted. Just take a look at your pee. It'll probably be bright yellow. In a doctor's opinion, I don't know. Ask him. Because... along. Yeah, well, <laughs> be smart. Don't be stupid. How's that? This is vitamin K2 plus 1,000 I use of vitamin D3. After this is used up, I'm going to switch her over to my brand of vitamin K2, which has a little bit more in it, but uh, she still has some of these. So this is only uh, 100 micrograms of vitamin K2. Again, another very important mineral for uh, hormone regulation and for depositing calcium in your bones instead of letting it calcify in your bloodstream and build up on your teeth and build up in your arteries and potentially kill you. So if you're taking vitamin D3, you better do your research on vitamin K2, on boron, on magnesium, all of those things because, again, there's more to it than that. So I'm going to give her one of these per day. These are almost gone, but one, two, three, four five, six, and seven. Put the rest in there. Okay. And finally for her, vitamin B6. Another good regulator of hormone health and metabolism health. This is good at night along with your zinc. When you hear people say, I take a ZMA supplement. Well, it's zinc. 
magnesium, aspartate, and usually vitamin B6 as well. So this is good, male or female. This is just uh, 100 milligrams, which is more than enough. Again, water soluble, I'm gonna give her one a day. I take two a day, one in the morning, one at night. Again, I'm a bigger person, so I need more. She doesn't need as much as me. One per day, preferably at night, okay? Something else to remember, guys. Well, all these vitamin supplements, do your research on which ones are water soluble and fat soluble. Do your research on which ones you need to take with a little bit of fat, i.e. egg yolks, coconut oil, or almonds, or guacamole, because some vitamins and minerals need fat to be betterly absorbed into your bloodstream system, whatever you want to call it. There you go. There's a week worth of vitamins for Rachel. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Now she's good for the entire week and she doesn't have to worry about it again. Okay guys, now I'm gonna show you a little bit of uh, a specific back work that workout that I do. Uh, I use the barbell and I do bent over rows. I do these at home. I don't have a lot of weight to do that, but this is just one of the, the movements that I do to target the the lats of my back. I don't have a very wide back naturally. I have a pretty thick back naturally, but uh, this one targets the width. So um, I'm going to show you, you know, just one of the movements I do. Other movements I do include um, lat pull downs uh, from a variety of different grips, you know, front and then reverse. Uh, I do some pull ups as well. I can't do them at home, but uh, I have to go you know, outside to my deck to do those things because they're they're hanging, you know. Um, I don't have any type of bar inside the house to do those, but I also do uh, lat rows. I do those with dumbbells, and I do those with the uh, the cables on the bow flex as well. I do deadlifts, I do back extensions, and I do reverse flies. So anyway, I gotta put another weight on the barbell here, but uh, you can see, what I use, same thing as I do with my biceps. I make sure my hands are nice and wide spread. Spread my feet about shoulder width, bent over, butts up, heads up, and back is straight. I don't want to hurt myself. And here we go, pulling them to about my belly button. Oh. Really gotta squeeze here. Let down slow. Oh, squeeze. This one's tough if you aren't used to putting stress, strain on the back. Oh man. There you go. So that's just a standard grip that I do overhand. Now I'm gonna take a little rest here and I'm gonna go ahead and switch up my grip. So it's underhand grip for these. So I'm rowing more like this instead of with the overhand. Does that utilize the biceps a little bit? Not as much as what people think if you have the form correct. Um, but yes, it does get them involved as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch that grip here for you. Kind of show you how that works. Like this, feet spread again. Same form, just a different grip. All right, guys, there it is. I'm going to go ahead and switch back to the other grip, and I'm going to do a few more sets of each side of those. I've still got a little more weight to add to the bar, so I'm gonna go up in five pound increments each time. So you can try this out at home if you have a barbell, or you can do this at the gym. Typically, you'll see a lot of people doing this on the Smith machine. And yeah, I think that's a good way to start if you're a beginner because the Smith machine, I suppose it's not wonderful that it only has an up and down movement, but it does force you to Lock down in your form and bring the bar up, 
you know, to the bottom of your abdomen in the correct manner and maintain the same form consistency the whole time. I've seen people who are beginners doing it that way on the Smith machine, and I've seen people who are obviously quite advanced, very muscular, using the Smith machine to do bent over barbell rows as well. So that's a good way to go. You can do these at home, you can do these at the gym, whatever you wanna do. You can even lay down um, on a bench, face down with dumbbells, and I do do this sometimes, and you can do that same type of row when you're laying on the bench as well. So, all right guys, that's it for now. I'm gonna finish my workout. I showed you a workout drink today. I showed you Rachel's vitamins. Showed you a little bit of my back workout. Uh, right now we are getting ready to go to Rachel's packet pickup downtown. Uh, so we might do some filming there or some filming later on when we get back, okay? It's a beautiful day. About to get outside and enjoy it. All right, we're on our way downtown to the Gazelle Sports, what is it? Gazelle Girl Half Marathon Expo. Yeah, so uh, Rachel's running that tomorrow morning and they had an expo from 11 to five today and hopefully we make it. It's a little after four. We're just gonna catch the tail end of it here. But uh, yeah. I'm excited. running, the past two years I ran the half marathon. And then the two years before that I did the 5K. And this year I'm doing the 10K because they came out with a 10K. So I'm gonna do, try that. Uh, I haven't really been training for like half marathon status. Um, so I know I can do the 10K uh, just fine, hopefully. Um, just don't feel like it, but um, but I'm excited. I mean, I've done it every year. This is their fifth year Good running the 10K. Weather. So we're going to the expo right now downtown, and it's just I get my bib, which is the number that you run with. Um, so I get that and a t-shirt, which is always cool. So. Uh, um, we'll have that so I don't have to get it tomorrow morning. Um, so we're gonna get that downtown and then we're gonna run a couple errands. So. Do they let you pick it up tomorrow morning? I think you can pick it up tomorrow morning till like 8. Okay. But uh, it's, we, I mean, I'm We not, used to kind of do that, but it's a pain Some in races you do, I don't like to with big races. If there's a lot of people, it's just not worth it. So if you can go the day before, uh, then do it and you know expos are cool to see it and everything so they're fun how many um, people are doing this race i don't know the 10k sold out last year there was over 3,000. so it's really when i did it the first year i mean it was it's an all girls race so which is neat it's like woman empowerment uh so the first year not as many people but now you know once word spreads and that it and um it's one of my favorite half marathon courses because it's all flat and last year I remember the weather was gorgeous like I didn't even need like a sweater what, or anything I think this so year should nice. be the same high 50s It'll yeah be, which will be perfect so be good running yep perfect running weather so I'm excited the only training I ran a three and a half miles or 5k what was it this week or Tuesday last week? or Wednesday one of those yep. two days I and think. but I've been doing P90X and that literally wipes me out like I get way more like winded and out of breath than running like six miles well, one of the things about running is that the, the races are one thing but when you're training that's hard on your body so sometimes it, doing something like P90X or cycling just to get yourself in good cardiovascular health is just as good if not better than doing actual overdoing it with your running training because it's so hard on your joints and that was part of it was my left knee from running has just like been destroyed so um you know taking it slow and p90x i mean it's so good too because they it, every day i mean it's cross training and you just get so much strength so i know i have like the cardio vascular part of it down to run the six miles it's just like keeping that stamina and developing that strength in your legs and your arms and your whole body. And P90X is perfect for that. Because if I just run six miles like every day, I used to do that, not anymore. Uh, and I do have extra weight on me, but my knees, 
I can feel it and it's not good and you have to listen to your body that's the number one thing no matter what you listen to your body if my knee hurts I won't do it I'll do something else so um and I love P90X it's been a shout out to Uncle Tony Tony he <laughs> okay he reminds Tony us Horan. so much of heavyweights Tony Perkis Perkisizing the guy that Ben Stiller oh. plays Uncle Uncle Tony. Uncle Tony. So I, we call him Uncle Tony. Sorry, when I'm Tony doing Horton. P90X, I'm like, <laughs> I have to percocize. It's time to percocize, babe. And I percocize with Tony, and it works. And I love it. So thank you, Uncle Tony. Shout out to Uncle Tony. And Heavyweights. That movie is hilarious. I want to, we'll have to watch it again. Shout it's out. so funny. I love Shout it. Shout out to Tony Horton Seymour and Ben Butts. Stiller. There's Seymour Butts. <laughs> and Lars. And Lars. <laughs> Lars. All right, guys. Lars. We'll, uh, we'll check in with you a little bit later. We'll see ya. All right. We're at the Gazelle Girl Expo. Ooh. Ooh la la. Rachel just got her packet. Her packet. She got some pictures. She's all the packet people here. Let's see your shirt. If you want to pull it out again. Shirt's pretty cool. It's an awesome shirt. It's like kind of small. Color. I think it's just way too small. Yeah, it's sweet though. See, it's a. Uh, it's really small. It's a uh, dry fit. It's like really Nike. small. Nike. So I'm gonna try and exchange it. Yep, probably do that in the morning. So she got her picture. Nike dry fit. Had that background over there, and we we're looking for what photo booth. They're, they don't have it, don't have it. this year, but uh, a lot of people, so it's uh, it's fun, it's a lot of good energy, it gets you pumped for, you know, the race tomorrow, so it gets you excited, and uh, I'm looking forward to it now, cool. it's just surviving it and crossing the finish line, so. But uh, you will, you always good. do, you always yep. do awesome, yep. so, so it'll be good. What else do you want to look at? You want to look at the no, stuff? No, it's not, it's not that big. No. Uh, but they have merchandise and everything like that, so... They had to do it at the fancy hotel this year. They have, like, it's cool. photo spots you can get. They have wine. Oh, yeah. So they're selling wine. Look at, hey, let's drink wine at a fitness expo. They had a fun yeah. time. And uh, there's just different booths. Booths with, like, local, um, you know, small business things supporting that. So it's cool. So uh, I'm looking forward to it and uh, be an early wake up tomorrow morning. But yeah, what time would you get up? Seven? Get up around like, I'll be up at like 6.30. Mm. But. All right. Yep. Cool. So. Here we go. I think we're good. I think we're good. If, if you say we're good, we're good. I'm good. All right. So going shopping now. Ooh. Ooh. We joined the uh, like loyalty program or VIP program for the the outlet mall, and they have a lounge, which is really nice. It looks shopping. like inside of a pottery barn, and they have like Keurigs and water and snacks and um, like granola bars. It's really nice. So we're just gonna hang out, drink some coffee for couple minutes get going we kind of went we didn't go too crazy with shopping but we bought stuff but we're addicted to shop it's just like these outlets have such good deals and you have to buy it so yeah oh well okay i'm trying this see if this is fitness approved rachel got a Cappuccino. Cappuccino, and I thought it was straight coffee, but I don't think so. I think no, no, that's tons of sugar. Lots of sugar. So oh, yeah. Now I can't drink Fitness it. Fitness not approved. Should we just oh. dump it out? No, I'll, I'll throw just it in the throw trash. it away. Okay. At the, our next stop. Bummer, it was so good. I There's had some, I had some sips. I that cheated. Hot. That's hot. Good. It's really hot. I had sips of it. I cheated. Mm, top's going up. So we just got a haul. We'll probably go through some stuff when we get home. We Lots went to what? Banana Republic, J. Crew, Bath and Body Works, and 
Michael Kors. Michael Kors. Got a bunch of wallet. stuff. And clutch. Because Rachel is into so, fashion stuff. Yeah. And she. You guys just go crazy there because they have such nice stuff for really nice prices. So it's like walking into a Target. Like you just go crazy and then you buy all this stuff and literally after you're like, what did I just do? We don't even, what, did ju what just happened? We don't even go to Target anymore. So now maybe like we'll bring stuff to Goodwill just to feel better about our purchases. Probably. To validate it. Because one time our <laughs> closet rack fell down onto the floor because it had too much weight and I, I'm just getting this feeling it's going to do that again. So. But, uh, oh, thanks. Hey, look, thanks for looking, <gasps> jackass. Oh my gosh. Good job. Great job. People are the worst drivers. They're like, Honestly, rolling, oh my God, run away from They're them. like worse now than when, like during winter. It's so bad. They're never, and it, they keep getting worse because I see so many that are just texting. Yeah, they suck. Or even if they're like dialing to call someone too, like you'll just see them swerve. And I always like, you have to predict. You're gonna be like, okay, I know that person's gonna pull out. I know that person's gonna do this. And oh, they do. Yeah. It's like. Bastards. If you weren't the one paying attention, oh my gosh. Daily rants. Road rage. So anyway, yeah, we got uh, some new threads to look good. And now we're uh, going to the post office, I think. To drop off a package and we're gonna go home and cook some food. Are we grilling or do we know what we're having for dinner? You know, I don't It's a good know. day to grill. Probably, Maybe I we'll probably grill. will grill, yeah. Tomorrow, sounds good. Tomorrow, we're gonna show you a sweet crock pot, I think, during the day yeah. that we're gonna make and eat. So that's gonna be awesome. Yep. So, I think that um, I'm gonna sign off right here till dinner till dinner and then uh i think dinner there goes her zarelto alarm. alarm seven o'clock time to take zarelto so we're gonna sign off till till i'm grilling or something and then that'll probably be the the last one for the day so uh till nice then. day just out and about on great weather and now we eat we eat we all right this is gonna be the last part of the day Guys, I'm outside here in the neighborhood and I'm gonna do some grilling. Yeah, so what I was just bringing out here, check this out. Just some salt, pepper, and butter. And we are having Boca Burgers. Vegan chicken. We're not vegan, but they're just original chicken. That's just what they are. And then asparagus, which I've cut right here, uh, and then I rinsed. So I'm gonna throw this stuff on the grill. Oh man, that thing is getting hot. I should probably scrape this. Yeah, I will. <coughs> wow. Excuse me. Oh. Yeah. So. I'm gonna grab my brush here. This thing is great. Very nice. And first, I think I'm gonna un unwrap my my Boca burgers. Kind of get them ready to go. Rachel's inside doing some P90X, just some stretching. Got a race tomorrow, so she's not doing anything too crazy. We're gonna do these really low just because she's gonna be in there for a while, probably for an hour doing that. So I'm gonna throw these on right here. Oh, I think I need four, right? Yeah, let's see. That would make sense because we're each gonna have two. Oops. There we go. Four Boca Burgers on the grill. And then, I'm gonna put these asparagus on there too. Now, asparagus, you don't like asparagus, you have to really try them on the grill because they're so much better on the grill than anything else. So I'm gonna come out here and get kind of a, a tool to, to um, flip those with, but for now, I'm gonna take a little bit of spray butter. 
if I can get the top off, which I just frickin' are you kidding me? Shit. Ugh. There. Look at this thing. I just dropped the cap and it just fell off. So anyway. I'm gonna give this thing a good spray. Oh yes. There we go. If you hate asparagus, what you gotta do is throw them on the grill. Do a little bit of spray butter. And by the way, this is good for you too. So keep that in mind. This is very good for you. A little bit of pepper. Yeah, the burgers can have some pepper too. And we'll do a little bit of sea salt. Or this is just kosher actually. I didn't haul out the sea salt, so sorry I'm not that healthy, but whatever. Anyway, I'm going to keep those out there like that. Like, yay. Look how beautiful the tree is and blossomed. It's just wonderful. Anyway, I'm going to keep those out. And I'm going to flip the asparagus eventually and rebutter, salt and pepper them. And yeah, guys, it's going to be dinner tonight. So anyway, it's a beautiful day, beautiful Saturday. Look at that. I mean, just lush. You know, the sun's kind of going down here in the neighborhood. And yeah, we're grilling. So yeah, guys really 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 nice out and i'm looking forward to it very much so um yeah that's about it for today we're gonna take this in in a little bit and eat it it's kind of our healthy saturday night snack um then we'll probably have some peanut butter and a little bit more to kind of refeed watch a movie and that'll be it for the day so anyway guys derek here he and she fitness subscribe to our channel uh, check out our other videos. I should have one playing up here in the right hand corner as this video fades out. And please comment, like, again, subscribe. And uh, we'll be coming at you again tomorrow because Rachel has a race. So, yes, good night. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>